Good evening and welcome to Creekside High School's Virtual Academy Night. My name is Mrs. Kelly and I am the Career Specialist here at Creekside High School where I oversee all of the Academy programs. Usually I would be up on the stage welcoming you to our beautiful campus here, but unfortunately we're having to do things just a little bit different this year. I hope that you find the Event Owl platform easy to use and that the information that we have provided helpful so that you can make the best decision for you. I want to start by introducing you to our administration team here. From left to right, we have Mrs. Carnell, who is one of our assistant principals. Behind the table is Mr. McCormick, our principal. Then we have Ms. Jasper, another assistant principal. And to the far right, we have Mr. Casting, another assistant principal. You probably looked over the agenda when you first logged in to Event Owl. But first of all, thank you for watching my Academy Overview video. Once we finished here, feel free to visit all the individual Academy pages where you're going to find videos, you're going to find pictures, you're going to find uh, informational materials. And then starting at 630 at the bottom of each page, there are Zoom links to calls so that you can talk to the teachers and current student ambassadors. So each year I am asked, what is a career academy? Well, an academy is simply a program of study with a sequence of courses geared towards a career path. So each year students take one course within that path and it serves as their one elective for each year. Students are surrounded by their peers who have the same passion for that subject. So everybody usually ends up being really good friends within their academy programs. And it's a chance for you to try out a college topic before you actually get to college and you find out if that is something that you truly would like to major in. Here at Creekside, we have three amazing academies. First of all, we have the Academy of Emerging Technology, where we have two separate strands. You can choose to either go into digital media or you can choose cybersecurity. We have the Academy of Engineering and Environmental Sciences, where again, you can choose the engineering tract or the environmental sciences tract. And then our very newest academy is the St. Johns County Academy of Future Teachers. The first academy I want to introduce is the Digital Media Academy. In this academy, students will learn several Adobe products that include skills in web design, vector graphics, illustration, photo editing, video editing, publication layout, and more. Students have the ability to earn five industry certifications, starting with Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere Pro, and finally, Dreamweaver. Next up, we have the Cybersecurity Academy where students are immersed in network security, security vulnerabilities, attack mechanisms and techniques, cryptographic systems, as well as other security technology. On the right side are some programs that the students use throughout their academy experience. And I always tell students, we're not gonna teach you how to be a hacker. We are gonna teach you how to prevent people from hacking into your system. All right, we teach you how to be an ethical hacker. In the Environmental Sciences Academy, students will study ecosystem awareness, water quality, air quality, managing hazardous materials, green building technologies, forest and wetlands management, as well as environmental legislation. Students become proficient with GIS mapping. They are able to obtain their OSHA certification. They are able to sit for the LEED Green Building Council certification. They are also able to take the Natural Resources Specialist certification, and they do a lot of work with National Geographic, where the teacher of this program is actually a certified National Geographic instructor, and this year she is also a National Geographic Emerging Explorer, where there is only eight of those from around the entire globe. In the Engineering Academy, 
Students learn the skills and software needed to invent, innovate, design, manage, and build structures or machines. On the right hand side, you will see the programs that students work with constantly, and they are also able to take certifications in each one of these. In the Academy of Future Teachers, students are introduced to the teaching profession, human growth and development, curriculum and instruction. Students have numerous opportunities for job shadowing and internships within our local schools. There are a lot of advantages for these students and one of them is they are able to take four dual enrollment credit classes during their junior and senior year with the University of North Florida that where these courses actually count towards their teaching degree. And there are many more opportunities for these students as well. So as you can see, a career academy is not just your average elective. First of all, our teachers are experts within our fields. So let me take just a minute to introduce them to you. First of all, in the upper left-hand corner, we have Ms. Sonardi. Ms. Sonardi is one of our most special teachers because she teaches all the ninth graders for the Engineering Academy and all the ninth graders for the Cybersecurity Academy. So she is very versatile and she can teach engineering as well as cybersecurity. So once they leave Ms. Sonardi, if they're in engineering, they go see Mr. Davenport for three years. If they are in cybersecurity, Ms. Sonardi has them again for the second year and then they go to Mr. Wingate for their third and fourth year. All right, below Mr. Davenport is Ms. Pressel, who is the teacher of our Environmental Sciences Academy. Then we have Ms. Wimmer, who teaches the first two levels of digital media, and Ms. Sykes, who teaches the third and fourth levels of digital media. And then for our Teaching Academy, we have Ms. Ashker, who teaches the first level, and Ms. Fixel, who teaches the second level. And we're just not sure who's gonna teach what next year. That is all to be determined for the third and fourth levels, since this is our newest academy. In all of our academy programs, we have amazing business partners who are so dedicated to our programs. All right, students network with these individuals and are able to start building their network while they are here in high school. We have individuals from each one of these organizations who serve on our advisory boards as business partners. And here are some more. Within our academy programs, we offer challenging, customized course offerings. So here at Creekside, we have over 35 advanced placement and dual enrollment course selections. So you can design your schedule to fit you, not the other way around. So if you look at our programs of study for each academy, in this column, it will show your academy course that you will take for each of the four years. Most of our academy programs offer many industry certifications, so students are able to develop their resume while they are attending high school. We have innovative technology in each of our classrooms. We do off-campus learning in normal years anyway, where we do field trips delivered by our business partners from industry professionals. And here's just some more pictures of some of their field studies. At any time, feel free to pause my video if you wanna look any longer. We offer summer internships to our students between their 11th and 12th grade years to where they actually get to work with experts in their given fields. These are some pictures of students who have completed their summer internships. We try to visit colleges each year. 
so that you can help you decide your next path by experiencing the post-secondary school firsthand. We have numerous extracurricular clubs so that you can connect with friends who are passionate about the same topics as you. These are all of some of our extracurricular activities and clubs that are offered to our students through our academy programs. We do a lot of community service projects through our academies and extracurricular programs. A lot of our students compete in various competitions. Again, another way to build your resume while you're in high school. Usually at this time, I know some more deadlines that I can tell you about, but right now the only one I can really tell you is the very last date to apply for an academy is February the 5th at five o'clock. Once the lottery takes place in late February, then a decision email will be sent via the hack email at that given time. So by the end of February, you should know if you've been accepted into an academy program or not. When registration takes place at your zoned middle school, then this will already appear on your registration. Many of you have already applied for your academy program of choice, but just to briefly go over how to apply, you must log in to the Students Hack account. Once you get into the Students Hack account, you have the Classes tab that you will click on. Then you will go to the Request tab, and then you will click on the Academy Program of Choice. And what you do is you click on the Edit button over to the right side of Academy Program of Choice. Once you click on Edit beside a Program of Choice, then you'll see each academy listed three times, and that just means for first choice, second choice, and third choice. So you'll just click the checkbox beside of your first choice, beside your second choice, and your third choice, and then at the top of the page, you will simply click Save. So make sure you save it. So to review, log into the Students Hack account, click on Classes, then the Request tab, and then click the Edit button beside the Academy Program of Choice. Make sure you select First Choice, Second Choice, and Third Choice if you have them, and make sure that you do save it. All right, if you are a private school, homeschool, or virtual student, then if you are moving from any of these entities, all right, you may apply for an academy by pre-registering for the school online at the St. Johns County School District website and selecting also to apply for a program of choice. All right, all pre-registrations need to be completed by the close of school day on February the 5th. If you have any questions, you need to contact Teresa Dodd either via email or there is her phone number as well. For more information, be sure to check out our Career Academy's website on the Creekside homepage. And of course, I have links to everything throughout the Event Owl platform tonight as well. So thank you so much again for attending. Here is my email address. All right, if you have any questions, I will be on Zoom starting at 630. On the bottom of this page, you will see my Zoom link. But again, from now until 630, Please go in and look at all the individual pages and be sure to get on the individual Academy Zoom calls as well for any additional questions. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this virtual experience.